I don't know its organization. We've been on tour. <laughs> oh, hello there. Craig Dovey, digital media producer. You guys already know what we're doing today. Go Ham Films, Craig Dovey. We're doing a little crib style. Currently right now, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of my birds. Welcome in. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of this establishment. Uh, this is the, the front of the hood. You know, you gotta make sure you close the gate so the pit bulls don't get out. That's how you get sued. Learn my lesson. Drip brought to you by Extravagant J. <laughs> come on in, join us in. Come on, come on. All right, so perfect. Welcome to the crib, welcome to the crib. As you guys can see right now, everything is nice and clean. Um, we did a lot of cleaning before we had our, our session today. This is not how it looks all the time, but um, I wanna introduce you guys to my carnivorous plant collection right here. I love carnivorous plants. A lot of them come from, you know, the Northern Carolina area. Um, this is gonna be my Drosera. Got a Nepenthes, Droseras. These are the ones that get used a little bit of the slime goo, the mucus to catch the bugs as you can kind of see right now, go ahead. You can see there's one actually that got caught. He had, he had met his demise. <laughs> this is the hood pool. There's chlamydia in it, but that's not from us. French vanilla. Yeah, we do. We got it. You know, this is the, we're getting ready to have a baby. So we store baby stuff up here for right now. But, you know, it's the kid corner. There's pretty much all media you could ever ask for right here. There's, you know, a lot of learning stuff like Mad Men and uh, The Godfather. Other things good for elementary schoolers. Nepenthes. This is usually from like um, Nepal, um, um, India, that kind of stuff. And then in here, I always go live on uh, Instagram and Facebook. I got my praying mantis in here. If you want to come and see my guy, his name is Juan. I bought a dragon a couple years ago, 16,000. Yeah, if you need a dragon, tap in. Right there, that's one. He got his wings, so just like tarantulas, they get their hooks when they're to the end of their, their lifespan. So I'm kind of coming, I'm kind of feeling sad about that, but still love the guy, had him over a year. You know, this is the antelope. Everybody prays to it in the morning real quick. Antelope fisherman, uh, that's the name of the group. Over here we got, um, you know, three fist flags from antelope fisherman member, Jeray makes waves, makes waves, makes waves. Also makes flags. Also makes flags. And then, you know, of course, the La Familia. This is gang hallway, if I'm being honest with you. You know what I'm saying? Johnny Depp and Rango, Detroit, Lil Homie. You get it. As you know, the mantis will eat a different mantis. And as soon as a male and female mate, the female actually eats the head off of the mantis. So be careful. Brought to you by Ayana Perry. You're going to meet her a little bit later on as well. Um, more plants. I'm a big plant guy, you guys. Big plant guy. I can literally get lost in these things. Um, this is another Nepenthes. We got succulents down there. Got some moss. Oh, where's his gift at? I brought a gift for you like, like I'm Nardwar. You know what I'm saying? This is where the magic happens. All right, so this is like, you ever been in Narnia? This is a rare video game collection. I'll kill you, you fuck with my rare video game collection. Sorry. But we got a, this is like, we don't sell these. This is specialty shit. This is, I'm gonna pass this down to my kids. Y'all got trust funds? Video game collection. That's, that's for you. The story behind this Nepenthes, man, I got this one from, um, from Clearance. It was $5, man. They was about to literally let him die. And I got it and I brought her back to life. As you can see, she got a new picture. You can never have too much plants. I'm just saying right now, I got probably like 30 plants and it's just a way of living, you know what I mean? I think the more you have that kind of energy in your house and feng shui and stuff like that, it builds a little bit more clarity and, and a little bit more bliss, tranquility. I'm about to finish up with my uh, Venus fly traps as well. This is my red dragon right here. And then this is just a regular Venus fly trap. This one has been a little tough to take care of. As you can see, it's got a little heads, but they're growing. You know, this is the, the work computer. If you've ever worked in a warehouse, you know exactly what the fuck this is. This is the shipping computer. You know what I'm saying? You know, the shitty, reliable computer that does everything that you need for it, which is Google, email, and print. 
What kind of cool shit you like, Jimbo? What's your favorite? It's like a, a 1980 applause. You remember applause? This is Foofer. Foofer's like a, a little over a hundred bucks, bro. Those of you that are, are 27 and above may remember Floofer from Floofer Goes to the Park or Floofer the Stuffed Animal. You can purchase Venus Fly Traps from online. Be careful who you buy from. Um, I got a lot of mine from people that are growing them here in Portland. So, you know, I got them from um, markets. What's it called? Saturday markets. People that are here in Portland that you can meet face to face. You know what I mean? That's the kind of better way when you can see the person that's taking care of these plants. It's your book collection here. You gotta have your book collection. You got bleach in there. A little bit of bleach. I'm not big on reading. I would say like, I probably read like five books in my whole life. I'm gonna say that, you can tell. Of course, you gotta have your pictures of your, your family. Gotta have an area with your, your, your family, you know? I'm, I'm working on being more family oriented. Uh, this year, I've noticed I've talked a lot more with my mom. How much you think this little bitch is worth? This little Pokemans. Tiny little motherfucker. I could have stolen it from your house. You'd have never known it was gone. 130 bucks. That's another electric bill. I'm working on with their health. You know, my, my dad, he just basically had a little bit of surgery um, on his knee. Um, he's had two heart attacks, so went down to Klamath Falls and basically showed him a different lifestyle of how to eat better. Um, try to show him a little bit more of how the vegan lifestyle is. Then also, my mom, loving mom, been my cheerleader all my life, of course. She's actually, <clears throat> she's probably taking care of the whole North Portland. Everybody from Columbia Villa has been taken care of by my mom, Vivian Doby. So shouts out to her. Um, she raised the North, big time. Knowledge is power, only if you apply it. Got some art, that's by Anna Perry. She kills it. Oh, shoot, speaking of Ayanna Perry, it's Ayanna Perry! Hello, I am Ayanna. I am a, I'm a whole food cooking coach and a life coach. I help people with their physical and their mental health. Um, and yeah, I teach people how to cook whole plant food for, you know, preventing diseases like heart disease, diabetes, um, yeah, all, all sorts of, you know, bodily ailments. I, I myself went through, you know, having a little more excess weight throughout college and high school than I wanted, and I had ended up having a brain tumor and just all these different health issues that I made me really dive into the science of health and nutrition um, that I now help other people with just because it is so hugely impactful and I love to do it. Um, yeah, that's that's kind of what I do. What about your art? I see your art out there. Oh yeah, so I originally I did I went to art school. Um, that is still a big passion of mine. I'm, I'm an artist in a lot of different aspects, um, but I've kind of shifted my focus from doing the art to doing the art of cooking. Yeah. Find me on Instagram at uh, Ayana Perry Art and um, my website ayanaperry.com. And that's, yeah, that's where you can find me. Back to me, I need some attention. Oh, man, I need more attention. I appreciate you, man. You're a motherfucking good guy. There's a first wave where we were all not doing much, and then the second, the second wave started. I would say he was the birthplace of that. Ellis was the end of the first wave, but that's really where we gotta, that's where we gotta make our way to, if I'm being honest with you. Any of you who have bought a Fisherman film, asked if, bought a feature for me, gotten a free feature for me, anything graphic, and this upgrades every day. So you're gonna get footage of this right now, and tomorrow it's not gonna look nothing like this. We're gonna replace it all. All right, cool. So, all right, back where the magic happens in Craig Doby Digital Media Production. This is where everything happens. So follow me real quick. Ta-da, ta-da. Whenever you're doing any photo shoots or anything, have it ready. Um, that's what I think I would recommend when you're doing your videography, photography. Backdrops is ready over there. Have a printer. I will say the most biggest investment of my life is this shredder. Shredder. You gotta have a shredder. You're gonna get a lot of documents to your house and you wanna be able to shred them. Shred them up, right? Have a, uh, a film book, man. I got two of them. Look, I already killed this one. This is my second one. Bro, 
look, man, like, man, I wish I had my, my main one. The other one's filled up. I just got this one today. You got to have a shot list. Make sure you're organized and everything. I love my stuff. I love the work. I love the flow. Get a lot of videos done here. Um, but for sure, it's time to upgrade. I will say that. Um, but yeah, this is my setup. You can smoke Rogaine, but you cannot smoke propane in this motherfucking room. Yeah, bro. So like, honestly, I know we go to studios now, but almost the first 90% of Antelope Fisherman's songs you've ever heard, if you've heard them, if not, probably go fuck yourself or Google that right here. This is where it happened. So thousands of hours of stuff. I mean, not in this room necessarily. We haven't been here this, this long. The energy, the energy has, has followed. Has <laughs> Pretty much since Ellis went from womb to air, the energy of this desk has been with him. The whole time. The whole time. Uh, we got a Harry Potter cubby. I can show you that. It's, it's a little full right now, but this used to be Tyree's room. So if you guys want to know where we kept Tyree after he got shot and how we took care of him, we just just put him under the stairs. There was some pillows here. We got a heated light like a lizard. So that way he could stay warm when it was cold because it's a basement and there's heaters in their rooms, but there's not heaters out here. It got like fucking freezing, bro. More than 4.5 million carry the two. Dollars in here, you know what I'm talking about? Big status, you know what I mean? Big dog status, you know? That's how we do it. Um, so how everything started, um, man, I'm originally from North Portland and growing up in the North side, a lot of my friends, artists, you know, we would be on the, we would be on the max rapping, you know, not the best lyrics, but I would be the one that would always pull out the camera and record. I'm gonna invest into, you know, a camera that is actually gonna produce quality. That was when 720p was big and important, man. That was that was a long time ago, Gohan. That was long. OMG, shouts out to Oregon Music Group. Um, worked with them. I worked with P Hype. We went out to um, we went out to Eugene, and from there my camera got damaged. Stopped. Took a break. Took a break for a little bit. And if you haven't seen this film, it's a little cult classic. Make sure to tap in with George of the Jungle. We're doing everything we can to revitalize Brendan Fraser's career. Uh, Brandon Frazier, if you're seeing this, please tap in. We'd love to make you an antelope fisherman. You're on our list. Uh, yeah, I don't think you deserve what Hollywood did to you, man. Let's get you in a video. Come on, bro. Um, I don't know, Jimbo. I got a small house. I was homeless recently. This is a big step up for me. I would say measurably so. When I got here, I was a, a fuck up, to say the least. Turned back into the game with, you know, purchase a DSLR. I think it was a T. 5i. Um, that was one of the best cameras that I still use to this day, and that's why it comes down to it doesn't matter to the equipment, it matters on who the artist is, you know, or who is using the tool, you know, it's how you use it. And I would go around, you know, taking pictures of plants, architecture, you know, just the regular stuff, taking family portraits. And then finally, um, one of the artists, shouts out to City Slick, um, contacted me. Oh my God. Dad, let me call you right back. We live on Let Me In. You wanna say something real quick? Oh, bitch. Um, and was like, I wanted you to do one of my, my skits for me. So from there, I went to photography and then doing more video, one music video for um, Mac and HD. And that's when finally I took that, that, that niche in doing music videos for aspiring music artists. Now I have, you know, an LLC. Um, I have artists under me. I have you know, a consulting business that where I'm, I'm consulting music artists and also small business owners. So it's been a blessing to be able to have this opportunity and work with certain people such as Gohan Films um, and also other artists in the city that, you know, just not just rappers, but seeing a customer have, you know, a problem, pain points and having a desired solution on how they want something done. And then you being able to listen to what they need done and you knowing what and how to do it, and you providing that service, and seeing them happy, because on the multiple times I see customers say, man, this is dope, I love this, it, it's feel, it feels rewarding, you know what I mean? So, along with that, and having the art of wanting to put out good content, that's where it all, yeah, that's where it all ties in, man, it feels good. Portland hip hop changed my life, and if so, how? 
I would say immeasurably so. When I got here, I was a, a fuck up, to say the least. I, I got married right away. I was on drugs pretty much the entire time. You know, it's when they found me a couple years ago, 2017, 2018, I was a very, very different fucked up kid than I am today. Today we got a business, multiple businesses. I'm a father, you know, I've been sober almost a year now, over a year now. It's, uh, it saved my life and gave me a family to say the least. I know that sounds very, very cheesy, but I mean, La Familia's on my hand, Antelope Fisherman's on my hand. I live, breathe, and die by these people and I would not have met them without Portland Hip Hop. I wouldn't have money without Portland Hip Hop. I wouldn't have a job. I wouldn't have a reason to do much fuck of anything because I was getting real close to giving up on this shit. So to anyone involved in Portland Hip Hop, most serious figure eight right here, thank you for everything. All right, man, you gotta, that's enough. Hey, you know the way out? I'll see you at Christmas.